Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is another comic book review and I hope you enjoy. And welcome to Hashtag Spider-Man Sunday. Today I'm reviewing the first appearance of my favorite Spider-Man villain, Mysterio. And I'm very aware how much Mysterio stuff is already on my channel compared to other villains. And you can bet I can't wait to see Mysterio in the new Spider-Man movie, and hopefully he is in the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse one also. Today I'm looking at the first time Mysterio ever appeared as Mysterio, because secretly he was in issue 2, working with the Tinkerer. The issue starts with Spider-Man committing a crime or someone who looks extremely like him. Jameson doesn't waste time hopping on the news and convinces everyone that the real Spider-Man, the one who's been stopping villains for the last year, has been the one to commit these crimes. Peter Parker seems this and believes it to himself. The robber uses all of his powers and ex is extremely like him. Pete starts thinking that he has a split personality. This is another issue that starts Peter and Liz's friendship and her defending Pete against Flash like in the next issue. But at the Daily Bugle, a new character appears in New York, calling himself Mysterio. I like how the first reaction to this is an insult. Mysterio acts, well, mysterious, and tells JJ to print an ad in his paper telling Spider-Man to go to the Brooklyn Bridge, seemingly to stop the robber Spider-Man. We know how this goes. Spidey shows up, fights Mysterio, and loses, falling into the river, and gets away, making the public think that Spider-Man is defeated. But Spider-Man goes after Mysterio, tricks him into convincing he was the fake criminal Spider-Man, then stops him. It's a great issue, one of the best first appearances, I think. This is a great comic. I have to mention this funny scene where Pete has to meet Mysterio professionally in front of Jameson. Spider-Man also for the second time goes through an identity crisis, the first time being in issue 1. It's another growing experience for Spider-Man to become a better superhero. And in his home life, he has Betty Brant and Liz Allen loving him. Many people love Mysterio and think he's one of the best Spider-Man rogues out there. And I agree, this is one of the most iconic things Mysterio has done to Spider-Man. Mysterio is kind of an anti-hero at the start of his first appearance, which I really enjoy. There's almost no other Silver Age villain like that. We get his origin story and I love how he uses practical effects that are just on him that to seem supernatural. I love his costume, the fishbowl head, the eyes on the chest, the huge cape, the lines on his suit. Mix that with everything he can do, and you make one of the most A-list villains in my opinion. I think the first battle between them is one of the most iconic battles in comic history. Spider-Man fighting Mysterio on a small platform, and nothing Spider-Man doing is helping him. Mysterio has beat him every step of the turn. Mysterio goes after Spider-Man specifically also because of Spider-Man already stopping him once unknowingly in issue 2. And it doesn't go well for him and he goes to jail. We get a funny moment where Spider-Man in costume goes to a psychiatrist for his problems with no appointment. Then runs away because he doesn't want them to see under his mask. Mysterio was awesome. Another 10 out of 10. Sure, most of this issue was about Mysterio and Spider-Man, which is probably why he got to be such an iconic and loved Spider-Man villain. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys, and have a good day.